EU complacency disruption 195. We see over again how European Maritime Safety Agency, EMSA, is having issues regarding STC W95 compliance in November to withdraw Filipino seafarers qualification deployed as officers on European vessels if the incidents remain unsolved. So we see how again Brussels thinks that Filipinos need to solve the issues. Now, could we say this is corruption? Because there needs to be investment in many areas of Filipinas. 23, as a matter of fact. Now, the question is always, as Brussels works, is what the opposition is doing wrong. I wonder what kind of uh, complacency do we have taxpayers in Europe when we see 600,000 in Spain getting minimum wages for not working, whilst it could be possibility to employ 4 million seafarers, 2 million on board, 2 million at home, bringing 175 billion in 100 years intrinsic value to Europe. Now, how can they in Brussels think that EMSA also Philippines has issues? Well, are we going to stop maritime transport in Europe worldwide? 50,000 officers are at stake here in Philippines. Or are we going to really be complacent and think, now, why does not Europe solve the 4 million training seafarers? What do we pay these guys in Brussels for? Saying that everybody else around the world does things wrong? That we have to write this? We have been too complacent? Do we have to say that? Or do we have to really solve our problems instead of looking to the opposition? This is what we have in Brussels. We pay them, I don't know why, but they should be solving this issue because Europe has no more seafarers, therefore it will never be a maritime power. Never, ever. Thank you very much indeed. Like and subscribe. Take care, bye.